I'm here tonight to talk about light cure uh, resins, um, UV epoxies, a little bit of history uh, for the for those of you that didn't realize. You know, this isn't entirely new stuff. It's been around in the dental industry for, I'm going to say, close to 20 years. Um, now the adhes the adhesive that the dentist is using is is a lot different than the UV cure resins that we're using now for fly tying, but I can remember one of the dentists in my fly tying group using dental adhesive, light cure dental adhesive, and his very high powered light uh, from work to make uh, bonefish moes M O E flies back at least 15 years ago but that's really ultimately not what I'm going to talk about what I'm going to talk about is the light sources that you need to cure your UV epoxies or your light cure epoxies now most of the typical kits that are out today come with a little flashlight like similar to this I'm sure you've seen these um, these tend to be you know, uh, pretty low powered. There are, I'm going to say, about a half a watt. Um, I mean, they, they, they'll they cure the epoxy in 30, 40 seconds, uh, you know, given depth. Um, and they always seem to leave behind a little bit of that sticky resin afterwards. Uh, I thought there might be a better idea. I started looking around and for the fly tying type resins I've seen units uh, available that are one watt all the way up to about three watts. Uh, the three watt units however are very expensive and it's 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 just not <laughs> you know it it costs more than the damn kit. Um, Anyway, I came up with this. This is a dental tool that I bought off of eBay, real cheap from China. This thing cost me $29. Um, the problem is the frequency of the UV light on this originally was not that it, it would not set the UV cure resins that we use for fly tying it's a slightly higher frequency so uh, I ordered the uh, correct uh, LED for it in the correct frequency that is and you know took this thing apart and put the new UV uh, LED bulb in and works like a champ um, now this is a lot like a cordless toothbrush you know, it has a charging stand that you just, you know, set the thing down into and it charges. Um, it's got a timer on it. Uh, this particular one comes with a factory setting of about 20 seconds, which is more than long enough to cure any of the resins that, uh, or any thickness of the resins you might come up with. Now, this is a full 3 watt unit. Now it's advertised as a 5 watt unit on eBay, but that's a bunch of hooey. There is no way that the battery voltage that this unit has can power up a 5 watt unit. Anyway, if you're feeling a little handy um, and you like tinkering with things, uh, it might be a project that you might like to take on. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to give you all the details on where you or who I bought this from and where to buy the LED in the correct frequency and uh, I might pop this thing open and take a couple of pictures of the insides of this uh, with the uh, all the electronics that are exposed but just basically this is the battery section the timer and the and the controls and then the the LED is clear up here in the front and if I turn this thing on one of the beauties is is it's got a 20 second countdown um, 
it gives you a nice focused spot of light which uh, is you know handy for the fly tying um, like I say it's a full three watts it will set any epoxy that I've ever or any thickness of epoxy that I've ever run across in that 20 seconds without any issue at all um, and another one of the beauties is it will uh, give you about you know a thousand shots before it needs to be recharged not that I'd uh, tie that many flies at one time um, the other beauty is that it turns off automatically after maybe two minutes or so uh, but if you feel like tinkering with it uh, a little project um, it might be something you'd like to take on uh, if you have any questions you might send the questions to uh, my club's website at mangrovecoastflyfishers.com or at gmail.com uh, or you can direct them directly to me. I'm a commercial fly tire. My email address is saltflies, that's F L Y S, at gmail.com. Uh, anyway, it's an interesting project if you feel like taking it on. Enjoy. Thanks.